Hi guys and welcome back to Just Fun with Carrie. So today I'm excited because I have a new subscription box to share with you guys. This one is called the Z Box and this box is by a company called Zavi and it is a monthly subscription box that has a whole bunch of fun geeky kind of stuff in it. Now this subscription box may not be new out but it is new to me. So I did take some notes on things to know about this box. First, um, I did sign up with this box for a year just because it was cheaper and with me being in Canada, it made quite a bit of difference signing up for the year. You do still pay monthly, so you don't pay it all at once. Um, my first box, I ended up only paying $27 shipped because I ended up using their coupon code ZBOX and that only worked, I found, when I signed up for a subscription over three months. If I just signed up for the month to month, it didn't work, but if I signed up for the three month or over subscription, it ended up giving me the discount off. And then every box after this one will be uh, $38 shipped to Canada. So this box took about a month to get here. They ship out, I think, between the 10th and the 15th of each month, and it's the following month after about that time, so I'm figuring it takes about a month to get to Canada. And the cool thing with these boxes is they're actually themed. So this box should be themed waves. And this box should have Aquaman, Jaws, DC comic bombshells, and Cryptozoic. I think I'm saying that right, Cryptozoic, um, in it. So let's take a look and see what we got in here. As always, I will do a tally at the end just to see, you know, if I feel like the value is worth it for this box. But I think it will because I have seen some other reviews of this box done before. So... Also too, one thing I will mention is that these ones do come in women's sizes as well, which I really like. Some other mystery boxes only come with unisex sizes. This one you can actually pick a women's size, and I picked the women's large. And I do like on it here that it says, mystery box made for geeks. The first thing I'm going to pull out of here is going to be the shirt. Okay, so this is a Aquaman shirt. And this is the print on it. I'll give you guys a bit of a closer look. So this is actually a really cool print. This is usually a bit bigger of a print than I would normally like, but I actually do really like this shirt. And I think this is a licensed shirt. It does say Aquaman on the inside. And yep, so this is a woman's large. I feel like maybe this might fit a little bit smaller than some of the other women's larges I have tried on, but I will have to try it on and see. But yeah, I do like that shirt. So the next item in here is, okay, so this is a Tiki's uh, figure, and this is the Wonder Woman uh, Tiki's figure. I have seen these before. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of them yet or not. I do like that they do have the Harley Quinn, the Joker, and the Batman. I could see myself collecting those ones for sure, but I mean, if I start collecting those, I might as well just get the whole series. So yeah, those are pretty cool. I will open this up. And this is the Crypto... Cryptozoig, I think that's how you pronounce it, item. This is actually pretty heavy. That's what she looks like. She does have a flat head. I think that's meant so you can stack them all on top of each other. That is neat. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not yet. I'll have to think about it. But it does feel like it's made out of like a plastic. But it does look like it's like kind of carved out of wood. But that's that. And then our next item in here is our Jaws item. I was actually really hoping that this box, the Jaws item, was going to be the shirt, but that's okay. So this is a deck of playing cards, and it just says Quince on them. I 
I definitely will be keeping these, so let's just open them up to see what the actual cards look like. We use cards all the time, whether we go on vacation or just even around here when we play games. And it's Jaws, so I will be keeping these. Okay, so these look different than what I thought they would. Based on the outside of the packaging, I thought that's what the, the cards would have on them, but that's not the way they are. So these ones have the Amity Island on them, and they are all like that. And then the cards themselves have, um, have some different scenes from Jaws. And it looks like some of them have some quotes. So this one's like, you're going to need a bigger boat. And then this one has with the license plate. And it says, just like I thought, he came up from the Gulf Stream from Southern Water. So this is like some quotes from Jaws. And then some of them are just the regular cards. So those are cool. I do like those. And I really do like Jaws, so I like that item. So this is our last item in the box, and this looks to be a figure. Oh, cool. Okay, so this is the Bombshells uh, figure, and this is Mira. So this is uh, from uh, Aquaman as well. And that's what she looks like. This is actually a really nice figure. And it looks like this is part of a series. So there is three other figures that you can get. I really like the Harley Quinn one. These I think I have seen at EB Games before. I think they were a little smaller, but they were pretty close. And these I think were about $40. So um, you can collect the entire line of DC comic bombshells. I'm not sure if there's more than what they show on the back of the box, but still that is a really nice figure. So that is everything that we did get in this box. So let's just do a quick recap to see how much we actually got for the value. So I paid, we're going to say I paid the $38 because that's how much my boxes will be moving forward. So 38 bucks. I mean, right away I feel like this figure pretty much probably pays for the whole box. It is a really nice figure. So I am going to say for this, probably $40 for this. And then the playing cards, I will say $7 for the playing cards. And then the Tiki's, Tiki's, am I saying that right? Tiki's figure, I will say maybe $13 for this. And then I always give uh, $20 for the shirt. So we got $42 extra worth of value on top of what I paid for this box. I mean, so it's paying the $38 plus then I got the extra $42 on top of that. So I'm very happy with this box so far. I kind of knew I would be. I had seen some reviews on this box in the past and I really did like everything that you do get in it. So that is all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!